What's up awesome people and welcome to Apocalypse Gaming. Today I'm going to tell you the best two marshes that nobody can swarm and even if they did swarm it, you end up on the winning side. Let's go! Awesome people, we're gonna start and talk about the best cavalry marsh that nobody can swarm. And if they did choose to swarm, you will have a much better report than them. And let me be clear and straight to the point, Attila Takeda. And why? Let's look at the skills together. Normal attack damage, 30%. Counter damage bonus, 30%. Tick, counter damage. Enemy attack reduction, so enemy attacks get reduction by 50%. The first skill sees it all. And then we'll go look at the third skill, which is a passive skill. Skill damage taken reduce, uh, reduction 15%. Cavalry march speed 15% and cavalry attack bonus 40%. So here is again, skill damage taken reduction uh, by 15%. Just think about it, when you get in swarmed, and all this skills working, it is epic. And when we look at his fourth skill, when troops led by this commander constant of only cavalry, their normal attacks have a chance to increase all damage dealt for two turns, has a 25% chance to increase by 25, and a 25% chance to increase by 50%. So normal attack when you have a cavalry march, the only uh, only cavalry, uh, you have uh, a chance to deal a 25% increase damage, and there's a 25% chance that you will deal 100% increase damage. And guys, you can only imagine the amount of damage that guy will do if he has 100% bonus damage. It's insanity. And we go look at his expertise. Troops led by Attila are immune to all silence effects. You can silence him, so you can't block his uh, uh, skill damage. You can't do anything. And when enemy has less than 50% units remaining, normal attacks from Attila uh, deals 20% increased damage. Guys, he is an explosion for damage, and he will be our main primary commander into the anti-swarm marsh and when we go to look at the secondary commander for our cavalry anti-swarm march it will be the one and only takeda why let me look at the first skill enemy additional normal damage taking 50 percent what do you want more more damage taken by the enemy 50 percent his second skill give you a little bit of cavalry attack and a little bit of speed but when you go look at the third skill, here is 40% defense and 150 healing factor. A little bit of, of healing goes a long way. We all know that. So boom, boom. And when you go look at the fourth skill, and this is the one I like, skill damage taking reduction 5%. Normal attack damage reduction 25%. Counter damage reduction 25%. Boom, boom, baby. Attack him, swarm him. He has reduction to death. And look at his expertise. All targeted troops with the burning effect take 30% increased damage from normal attacks. Can you believe this? So if you one of these marches that has the burning effect, you taking 30% increased damage plus all the other extra damage reduction, skill damage reduction, counter damage. He is anti-swarm god. If you have golden heads, you're standing on the edge, you don't know, should I invest in Attila Takeda? It's an old commander, nobody likes him anymore. I am telling you, invest in him. Your kill points will climb crazy. You can attack cities, you can break cities, you can go open field, get swarmed, you can do use him in the altar. I think he's one of the best marshes in altar. But, let's go look at our second marsh for the anti-swarm. Let's go. And the second anti-swarm march is going to be infantry. Infantry game, come closer. I'm going to give you the recipe to the best open field march. You will get a lot of kill points if you use this march like I'm going to say. Let's look at Pakao first skill. Pakao first skill deals direct damage of 1300. 
and also has a shield that absorb damage 500 so you have a little bit of damage dealing and a little bit of absorption of damage and when we go to the second skill infantry unit led by this command again 30 percent health i love health a little bit of march speed of 15 percent and all damage of rally troops five percent and when we look at the third skill and it's one of my favorite skill infantry attack bonus of 40 percent and the probability 20 percent so let's look at what the skills say when attacking a stronghold city infantry lead by this command again 20 percent in attack when attacking troops also have five percent chance of dispelling any fuck and when we look at the third skill it is uh, a passive skill and it's focused on rallying a stronghold exactly like attila second skill so we're gonna go to the uh, fourth skill and here is the holy tree blessing damage taken reduced by 10 percent all damage taken decreases per stack by 5%. And how the stack work? Bonus reduction equals the number of surrounding enemies times 1%. So if you have a bonus damage reduction of 10% and you have 10 people standing around you, uh, swarming you, for every 1%, you get 10. So if you have 10%, you get 20%. If you have 15% swarming you, you're getting 15%. It is boom boom guys. It depends on how many people swarming you. You getting more uh, damage taking decrease stack. I think it's a boom boom. And when we look at the fifth skill. Which is the expertise. Troop led by this command. The deal what? 20% increased counter damage baby. And take 5% less damage from all sources. He is a god in ROK. He is a god in Rise of Kingdom. He is anti-swarm god. But who will be the best commander to team up with Pakao? The one and only Harold. Why Harold? Let's see together. First skill again. Direct damage factor to 100. But hang on for a second. Damage factor surrounded if you get in swarm 1500 baby. And you get a little bit of a damage bonus of 20%. And then we'll go look at the second skill, which is also Stronghold. So we'll skip that one. We'll look at the third skill. Infantry led by this commander gain 30% attack bonus, 10% uh, speed. And infantry attack increase per stack 5%. And how the stack work this time? Let's go read. When this commander uses their active skill... All infantry unit under their command gain 1% more attack. But lose 5% defense. This effect lasts 8 seconds and can stack up to 15 times. So guys, if you're getting surrounded, you're getting hammered. Uh, as you can see in the skill here, all infantry unit led by this commander gain 1% more attack. But you lose 5% defense. I think it's still good. You only need attack in the swarm. You just need to deal as much damage as possible. And also people, when we look at the full skill here, and this is a very important skill, when troops led by this commander are on the map and use their normal attack, this commander has a 20% chance to cast their active skill and grant their troops immunity to all defense reduction. And that sound pretty awesome to me when it comes to anti-swarm marshes you cannot reduce his defense it's pretty epic and if you remember the last skill seed every one percent attack again we lose five percent defense but what about if he is immune to all defense he'll pretty much gaining attack and not getting any reduced defense if i understand right and when we look at the passive skill Counter attack damage dealt on the map is increased by 20%. And if surrounded, counter damage dealt will be further increased. Bonus damage equal number of surrounding enemies times 2%. So what does that mean? If you have a bonus damage of 10%, you have 10 people surrounding you, you're getting an extra 20%. Because 2 times 10 equal 20, and it's 2% for every march surrounding your city. With an upper limit of 10 surrounding enemies. So the max is 10, and here it is guys. I do not think 
you can get any better than these two marshes for your open field, for your altar. I think they are great. So again, Cavalry Marsh is Attila Takeda. You will not regret it. Invest with invest without a worry. I am telling you, invest without a worry. And your infantry marsh is Pakao Harold. Absolute beast. You cannot swarm them. I've seen the reports myself. I would never make a content about commanders that I did not see and test myself. So hand on heart, I am telling you. Attila Takeda, Pakao Harold are the best two anti-swarm marsh to date in Rise of Kingdom. Awesome people, I hope this content helped you. Maybe you were on the edge, don't know where to go. And maybe that will make your life a little bit easier. Awesome people, this is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching Apocalypse Gaming. And I will see you next time. Come closer. Boom, boom, baby. Let's go.